So today we're going to be talking about butterfly weed. And this is the second video in a short series of videos that I'm focusing on growing native plants in suburbia. And I'm just highlighting some plants that I feel have worked really well for me in the suburban context. So this is butterfly weed. And native, not native, doesn't even matter. This is one of my favorite plants in the garden. It grows these beautiful clusters of bright orange flowers. And it blooms from May all the way into September. So I really feel like this plant screams summer. And so one of the most interesting things, in my opinion, about butterfly weed is that it's a host plant for monarch butterflies. And so if you're anything like me and you want to save the world one little plant at a time, then this might be the plant for you. So what that means is that the monarch butterfly will come and lay its eggs on the plant and then the larva or the caterpillars will use, that, use the plant as its food source. So now I'm going to give you a little bit of a close-up of the flower clusters and then a close-up of some of the younger plants that don't grow flowers quite yet. So here is a close-up of the butterfly weed. You can see it has these beautiful little clusters of these bright orange flowers and then the nice dark green foliage behind and then this plant here you can see that it's growing early seed pods. So there they are right there. They're about uh, three, four inches in height. And then as the plant dries out and the seed pods mature, they'll drop their seeds and then they'll grow wherever they please. But I'm going to try to collect mine this year so that I can plant them where I'd like and then plant them in planters to share with others as well. If you decide to let your butterfly weed go to seed and then you let it do its thing and drop its seed, you're going to find volunteers growing and popping up in your garden. So over here is just a tiny little butterfly weed plant back here and then this one is a little bit larger and as you can see they do look a little bit like common suburbia garden weeds so just keep an eye out for them and make sure not to pluck any of any plants that look like this and then you'll see they start to grow and the first year you probably won't get any flowers but the second year I am expecting this plant to have beautiful orange flowers just like its mother plant over here. Butterfly weed is native in Ontario, which is where I am, and it's native in Canada from Ontario all the way to the East Coast and then down through the United States. And so if you were to take the states and chop it pretty much in half, the eastern half is where this plant is found in its native environment. And so before I close off, I just wanted to emphasize how easy this plant is to grow. Butterfly weed is drought tolerant and likes lots of sun. So if you have a spot on your property that gets a lot of sun, it's dry, and maybe some other plants don't grow really well there, definitely try butterfly weed. Right now in southern Ontario, it's hot, we've had a heat wave and a super dry season. And so butterfly weed right now is doing great. Everything else in my garden is pretty angry. So anyhow, this was my plug for butterfly weed. I hope that you found this interesting. If you liked the video, please give me a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more, feel free to subscribe. Thank you so much for watching.